Hi, my name is Steve and I am here to do a video series on how to build a computer. I have built my computers, every one that I've ever owned, except for the first one, since about 1995. Built several, probably over 30 computers. I built some for my friends. And uh, I'm just building one here and I wanted to uh, share with everyone how it's done and uh, hopefully make this easier for uh, someone that's uh, wanting to take take this on. Um, what I've got here is a uh, this is a micro ATX box. Most motherboards are micro ATX right now and uh, it's empty. There's nothing in it. We've got a uh, got a fan here and uh, Got some wires here. These are the wires that go to the front front controls here. We've got uh, USBs. I think the lighting's better now. Got USBs. Uh, I've got a microphone and uh, headphones. Headphone jack. So the first thing I want to do is uh, we're going to install the motherboard. I'd like to install the mother motherboard first because it's the biggest piece that goes in this and uh, uh, after that we'll put the uh, power supply up in here and then uh, we'll go from there okay let's go over the motherboard and I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to say company names um, on YouTube but uh, I'm not um, promoting any of these companies and uh, I guess uh, maybe I'll I'll find out what happens if my video is taken down but um when choosing the motherboard, you want to make sure that it fits your uh, your case. In this in this case, this is a uh, the form factor is a micro ATX, so you want to choose a micro ATX motherboard. Um, for this build, I am using a uh, a, a Boister uh, main board it has Intel. Until North and South Bridge on it. Um, it's important when choosing a motherboard that you uh, get one that'll fit. Like I said, the majority of the uh, motherboards out there now are are mi micro ATX, and that's what this is. Um, also, when, when uh, handling these circuit boards, you want to make sure you're grounded to the case. Um, what I like to do is, uh, I basically, a lot of time I'll just keep one hand on the case. That's, I mean, that's a good way to do it. You also can buy a, a grounding strap to put around, your, put around your hand and ground it to the case. But uh, anyway, uh, you don't want to... Uh, get any static electricity onto this because it could uh, damage the board now on the motherboard first thing you want to do is install the processor if I can get a good angle at this This particular board is the sockets LGA775. So when choosing a processor, make sure the processor will fit the socket. I have a Intel Pentium 4 processor. It's a 3.6 gigahertz processor. Okay. Right here is a lockdown. Go ahead and flip it up. And different boards, different type sockets will have different different ways of uh, of holding the processor in. On your processor, there's an alignment pin. On this one, it's right there. Hope this is in focus. Uh, 
and right here we've got a little slot. So this processor only fits into the socket one way. So on the board, there'll be a little slot for that to fit into. And just go ahead and seat it down into that, into the socket. This one just drops right in. And you'll want to remove this plastic cover here. That way we can install the fan. Slide that down over the processor. Then you latch it in. Now it's firmly seated in the socket. Next, we want to do, next thing we want to do is install the fan. When buying a fan, you basically just want to make sure that it is matched with your motherboard and your socket. In this case, this fan matches the uh, LGA775 socket. It also has pre-applied heat sink grease. If yours doesn't have this, you want to make sure you put some heat sink grease on that. So that's something to think about when uh, purchasing all your parts for your new computer. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. On this fan, it just kind of slides down into the holes. You've got some four locking nuts. To lock down the fan. As you can see, these are now locked in. So the fan is securely in place. And then these lock in by turning them quarter turn. That'll keep them keep it from coming undone. Referring to the uh, documentation will always help too. Most motherboards are going to come with pretty good documentation. So at this point we want to plug the fan into the motherboard. According to the documentation, this fan plugs into the JCF1 socket. 